River. Now the latest on breaking news we've been covering for you this morning. Part of I-44 shut down overnight after a semi hit a bridge wall at Peoria. It is becoming a major traffic problem this morning. Two News reporter Dan Perlman is live at I-44 and Peoria with the latest. Dan. Well, I want to start off by saying two things. First of all, no one was hurt in this accident. Second of all, one lane westbound on I-44 through this area did just reopen a few minutes ago. Now, I want you to take a look behind me. You can see crews are still cleaning this mess up. They've been out here since 145 for the past four or five hours just trying to get the semi out of the roadway. And for more on the cleanup, I'm going to bring in Marty Stewart from the Oklahoma Department of Transportation. Marty, where do we stand right now? Uh, right now, we're trying to get the trailer out of the roadway. Once we do that, we've got a little bit of a cleanup underneath there and then uh, be close to getting the other lane back open. All right. Any idea when we'll get that second lane back open? Uh, no, it just depends on how long it'll take to move the trailer. It's kind of banged up, so we've had a little bit more than an effort to try and get it out of the way. But uh, everything else has uh, been cleaned up except for what's right underneath the trailer. Once we get it out of the way, we can uh, get that cleaned up and then we'll open up. Now, how's traffic doing through this area right now? It's backed up. Uh, before we were able to open one lane, I understood it was backed up to Yale. but. Uh, Traffic's moving through about 35, 40 miles an hour and uh, starting to relieve back behind now. So I think we're okay. All right, Marty, thank you very much for joining us. Again, one lane is reopened on I-44 through this area. Hopefully the next one will reopen pretty soon. With traffic being backed up as far as it is, everyone is encouraged, if you can stay away from this area, to do just that. Live in Midtown, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.